Hey, it's me, Marcus. Welcome to another edition of Top Beer. Now, as promised, this week I've not got a brew dog. I've got something a little bit different, something interesting, a bit of a treat for you. It's uh, called Guello, and I believe it's kind of like a Hong Kong beer. Um, peanut butter and raspberry jam pale ale. So, let's just read it. Guello, Cantonese term meaning ghost chap. Cantonese slang term used to describe foreign settlers in Canton in the 16th century. Affectionate slang term used to describe foreigners in Hong Kong. Exceptional craft beer born in Hong Kong. Brewed with talent, expertise and above all modesty. You can take the guello out of Hong Kong, but you can't take Hong Kong out of the guello. I suppose I, I'm saying guello. I, I, I don't know if uh, if I'm saying it wrong. Maybe uh, someone in the comments can uh, correct me. I'm sure you will. The classic American combo translated into a beer: raspberry puree, peanut, and vanilla combine into a medley of delicious flavors. Mosaic hops add to a touch of fruity bitterness to complete this dessert-style parallel. Ooh. So, on the tin, it promises a lot, but uh, you know how it is, it doesn't always, does it? So, let's open the can, see what it smells like, first of all. Oh, that's a weird flavour, <laughs> <It's laughs> interesting. Straight away I'm getting the raspberry. The raspberry's really nice. I can't say how I can smell peanut butter, but maybe that's a good thing. I can smell raspberry though. Beautiful. Now I'm expecting this to be a, a kind of beer that's either going to live up to and be really good, really interesting, or if the brewery have played safe and not put enough flavour into it, it could, you know, really miss the mark. So it's not going to be a middle of the road beer. It's either going to be really good or um or miss the mark. Well hopefully it's the first one. It does smell good. Hmm. It's quite lively, as you can see. It's uh you know head is and it's quite it's not that clear either, it's quite a um hazy it's quite a hazy uh, beer, actually. It's quite hazy. Doesn't look all that appetising, if I'm honest. Just try and get a little bit more in there. All right. Cheers. Definitely getting the raspberry. I get a hint of the peanut butter. I want more. 
I want more. Ah, I was really hoping that was going to be a really good beer. I mean, the can looks good. Well, it's got a good label on the can. In actual fact, it's got a nice label on the can, but in actual fact, it does look quite cheap, actually. It's a, it's a label stuck onto the can. It's not a printed can. can's got a dent in it. Not really the fault of the, uh, the beer. But, if I'm honest, it's a bit disappointing. It smells, you've got a nice raspberry smell. Definitely get a hint of, you know, get the raspberries, a hint of raspberry. Even, sorry about that. <laughs> Even, less of a hint of peanut butter they could have they could have put more into it more flavor into it they've played safe and unfortunately they've played too safe and they've ended up with a disappointment beer unfortunately so sorry but it's a five out of ten from me Damn shame. But I mean, you give it a try, you might like it. I'm still gonna drink it, but it's a five out of 10. Guello, peanut butter and raspberry jam pale ale, five out of 10, should have had more flavor. Till next time, do take care and I will see you again next Tuesday.